In this video, we demonstrate how to use the linear rise Z command. And to demonstrate the example, let's go to the 3D view. And we have this tool path already, already written out. And our material is 50 millimeters thick. So let's say we have to cut through this. And we would want to do this in three or four passes. But what we don't want to do is make one pass, pull the tool back out, go to a new depth, go around again and pull the tool out. We want to start the tool in and just have it spiral down automatically. So uh, to do that manually would take quite a bit of time and calculation of uh, how far to step the Z down each time, but the, linear, the linearized Z command does that for us automatically. So the first step we'll do is to take the whole tool profile and we'll locate it to where um, we want the final depth to be. Go back to our isometric view and we click any part of the profile and let's drag the whole profile in the Z direction and let's go to um, the parametric value minus s that gets us to the bottom of the part let's go one more millimeter so this will go one millimeter past the bottom of the part okay so that, that automatically moves the the whole profile to the um, to where it cuts through by one millimeter now what we'll do is we'll take and copy this profile without the mill setup so we'll take with the start with the second line after the mill setup and we'll copy all the all those lines. I just held the shift key down and used the down arrow and that did a quick select of the whole program without the mill setup. Copy that to the clipboard and we want to paste these lines after the last line. So we just go to the last line and then we hit paste. I'm going to paste it three times. That'll give us four total passes around. Now we need to step this down automatically and this is where the linearized Z command comes in handy. And all we have to do is we go back to the mill setup and we change the original Z value to zero. And with the last Z value being minus 51, the linearized Z command will take all those lines and all those passes around, all 69 lines, and divide the Z value uh, uh, and space it out evenly from zero to 51. So we just hit linearize Z and now we instantly get the entire toolpath is now stepping down through the material. Look at it from the side and you can see it's stepping down and at the end it finally breaks through. But we still need one more pass around to, to, to fully break through all the, all the material all the way around. Well if you remember we, we first copied this tool profile so we still have it on the, uh, on the clipboard with it at full depth or at 51 millimeters through all the way around. So all we need to do is paste it one more time and now we have the entire tool path. Let's look at it from say the front face and you can see this green line is the bottom of the part and the whole profile is now one millimeter through the material and it's automatically stepped down for us without having to do all that calculation. We can also go back and add a quick, uh, a quick lead in lead out and doing that we can just uh, with lead in and lead out, you can select any part of the profile. It doesn't have to be on the mill setup. Go to the uh, lead in, and we'll give it. Uh, let's say let's start 25 millimeters to the left, 25 millimeters below. Give it an arc lead in, and there's our lead in. And then let's do a, a lead out at the at the very end, and let's give that a minus 25 and x, positive 25 and y. And here we don't want necessarily need to ramp the tool out of the part because we've already cut all the material out. So we want to keep it at depth. We'll just remove any Z coordinate altogether. So now the tool is going to work its way down through the part, spiral all the way around, and then when it finally gets down to the end, we'll have a, we'll have a lead out at the very end. So the linearized Z command is something you can use when you're uh, having to do multiple tool paths and you want to just step the tool down and uh, have it spiral down through the part. 